Hey, welcome to Downhill Backyard Gardening. Today we are going to up pot the Single Seed Challenge 2024 plant to a bigger container. Not necessarily a pot, but a bigger container. And I'm going to explain why, for specifically a tomato plant, why this is so important to the vitality and the productivity of your tomato plant once you get it in the garden at the beginning of spring. Okay, so right off the bat, this is my Single Seed Challenge 2024 plant, and this is only about three weeks old. From the very first video that I posted this year, or late last year, for this year's Single Seed Challenge, to today is about three weeks. And you can already see just how much this plant has grown in such a short amount of time. I always grow a tomato plant for the Single Seed Challenge because it's an annual plant. And for the purpose of this challenge, it's to show the entire life cycle of one seed. So I will put the link to the video of where I started this year's single seed challenge up right so here. So we're going to up pot from this little tiny styrofoam cup to this one. Now you might be saying, well, that's not really that big of a difference. Well, it really is, honestly. What we're going to do is we're going to bury this entire plant all the way up to right here in this cup. Okay, so if you're new to growing tomatoes, you might be saying, Chad, what are you doing? That is insane. Why would you do that? Well, here's Tomato one. plants are different than say, cucumber plants or squash plants or pepper plants. As you can see right here, a pepper plant stalk is very, is very smooth. There's nothing on a pepper plant stalk. So when you up pot a pepper plant, like I did a couple videos ago, you just basically go to the bottom of that pepper plant stalk, basically right at, at surface level. And then you just up pot it and bury it. For a tomato plant, it's very, very different. And I'm going to show you on the single seed challenge plant why up potting a tomato plant, the way I'm going to do it is so important. Okay, so looking at this plant right here, you probably can't see the stem very well, but if we zoom in like I'm showing right here, you can see all those little hairs all over that stalk. Now, I say hairs because there's really no, not another term for them, but each of those little tiny hairs has the potential to become roots. So we're going to bury this entire stalk into this cup and the reason for that is very very simple you want them to be as strong as possible when you take them out of here and you plant them out there in the garden for them to grow so would you rather have a tomato plant that whose root system is only you know two inches long or would you rather have a tomato plant whose root system is four to six, seven inches long with roots coming out all over the place. Well, of course you want as many roots as you can get on your plants, especially for tomato plants. So that is why we are going to bury this thing all the way up to right here. And the reason for it is I want as many roots. I want this plant to be as strong as possible and it all starts in the base, which is the root system. One other reason for up potting, and this is for any plant, is you want that plant's root system to have as much room as possible to continue growing and seeking out nutrients. Now, in a cup like this, they're only gonna get what we give them as far as nutrients, but out there in the garden, those roots are gonna go out and try to find all the nutrients that they can possibly find. So you want those root systems to be incredibly, incredibly strong. So we are going so to up pot this plant for that reason. First things first, we gotta put some drain holes in here. So, nothing too hard, just a couple drain holes. Nothing crazy. Okay, then we're going to label the cup. Then you just need a good vegetable mix. And this is the part where we are going to start introducing nutrients to the plants. Remember, this is nothing but seed starter mix because seeds, when they start, they don't need nutrients per se. They need a good median to grow in. But once you up pot, this is where you wanna start adding that nutrients to the plant in order to ensure 
that one, the plant continues growing, but it's also growing strong. And for the tomato plant, it's gonna start shooting out extra roots all over the place. Now we're gonna take our plant and you always wanna support your stock, especially when it's long like that, you wanna support it. Just squeeze the sides a little bit, loosen up, loosen up that plug so it just slides right out. And if we look, can already see the roots growing in here. Now that is really, really encouraging because there's only one seed in here. And look at that plant. Okay, down into the cup we go. Just like that. Plenty of room now for the soil to go all around the stock right there. At this stage, we're gonna hold the stock nice and tight. We do not want that thing getting damaged. I know it might look like I'm not being as gentle with the tomato plant as I probably could be, but this thing is very, very, very strong already. And we're going to basically fill this all the way up. Now this cup might seem a lot larger than this cup, but normally I would use a much larger cup. I just didn't this year. I keep pushing that soil down around the edges to get it down around that plug. And then we're just gonna keep, then we're just gonna keep filling this thing up. Now, if you want to, you can totally take these two leaves off because these aren't technically leaves. These are from the seeds. But because this cup isn't as big as I usually get, which is usually the really big cups from like a fast food place, we're just gonna leave it at this level. I probably just added about four to five inches of area in here for the roots to now continue growing. So this plant now has a super good chance of being just incredibly strong and, and ready to rock and roll here in about six weeks. All right, everybody, and that's it. So we went from this size cup to this size cup. And the only thing I have left to do for this plant right here is to water it in to ensure that the plant stock is now getting a lot of that nutrients that it's been seeking and needing and to help the soil really secure itself around the stock of the plant to allow those roots to start developing. All right, so that's my update for the single seed challenge as of today. Last thing, like I said, I just need to water it in, go put it back on the heat mat under the grow lights and let it continue doing its thing. I will continue doing updates up until it's time to get this thing planted out there in the garden. If you all enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, do me a favor, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And start your own single seed challenge for you and my challenge to everyone this year is for you to get a kiddo involved in gardening. And the single seed challenge is an amazing way to do that. Everyone take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.